All right, welcome everybody to Thursday night, March 16th, our Team Fit Union Leadership Call. I have a very special guest tonight. I'm going to ask everybody who's jumped on since I muted everybody to please mute your lines. We get a lot of feedback from people doing uh, kids events, kids activities, and you guys want to join us live from everywhere. We get that, but we need to have you guys mute your lines. Um, so we can focus on our, our guest of honor tonight. Um, uh, let me make sure that recording is going. We're good. All right, guys. So we are going to record our guest time tonight. We are going to um, get going here right away. Um, we have the uh, very good friend of mine, Tony Horton, on the line with us. Tony's been on our calls in the past. He's done some events for me up here in the Freeland, Michigan area and hope to have him back sometime in the near future. Um, you guys all know Tony from P90X, P90X2, P90X3, 22 Minute Hardcore, P90X Plus, uh, Power 90, P90, 10 Minute Trainer. Am I missing anything, Tony? Um, I think you got most of it, Jeffrey. I think you covered most of it. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, you guys yeah. are maybe... Ho al Kakano, that's another classic. Yes, yes. Um, big old library for sure. Big old library, and I'm sure we're going to have more great stuff in the future. Guys, Tony done a, a video that I watched a little bit earlier this year, and I think I might have mentioned it in an email to Sean, just kind of about the whole, you know, kind of a Brendan Borchard uh, viewpoint on, you know, this year and making this year a great year. I remember seeing it in January, and it was, it's what kind of basically prompted me to reach out and see if I could get Tony on a call. And, guys, we're about three months, you know, into the year. We're a little over, um, you know, halfway through March, and it's been a great start for many people, especially with the Beachbody On Demand All Access, you know, with us being able to give our customers a total solution now. Um, but, you know, what we want to do is make sure that we continue this, this um, call it momentum swing, you know, from what a lot of us saw as far as the slowdown last year. Guys, please mute your lines. I'm going to ask everybody. And what we want to do is see that momentum go forward. So what I'm hoping, Tony, you can kind of talk to us about and, and, and give us a little bit of you point on is, you know, a little bit of experience on really how to take the rest of this year, whether it's fitness or with our businesses and really make the most of it, you know, really basically turn, um, you know, the momentum we have into just extreme, extreme, you know, success for our businesses, for our fitness. You know, I mean, there's just been a lot of uh, great things going on right now. So without further ado, guys, I really want to turn it over to Tony to kind of just talk to us for a few minutes. Hey, Tony. Jeffrey, hey everybody. Uh, thanks for being on the call. I'm really excited to be chatting with you all and sort of helping you understand what I get, what I know to make life a little bit more interesting and fun and productive. Uh, how much time do we have, Jeffrey? Just so I don't want to go on and on. I want to be more succinct. Yeah, I mean, sure. we don't have a time frame. We have the unlimited version of Zoom. You know, I want to respect your time, Tony. So, you know, whether it's 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever we can, you know, however you want to go, however long you want to go. Well, hey, man, let's let's shoot for 20. Why mess around? You know what I mean? There's a lot to talk about. And so, Jeffrey, if your question is, you know, how do I get the most out of every aspect of my life? You know, uh, you mentioned the course that I did with Brendan Bouchard. Yeah. I mean, if anybody isn't familiar with Brendan, uh, Brendan is somebody I was fortunate enough to meet because, you know, he's a P90X user and he contacted me and we met through Brendan Brazier. Brendan Brazier is a Vega fame. You know, if you go to Whole Foods, you can find Vega on an end cap there. You know, all his powders and shakes and bars. Brendan's had tremendous success. And so Brendan Brazier introduced me to Brendan Bouchard. And so we had dinner together one night. And, uh, and uh, I told him about my book, The Big Picture. And uh, Brendan Bouchard read the book. And he said, hey, man, there's a course here. There's an online course here. And I think there's a lot of... Uh, I think there's a lot of information here that can help people above and beyond just the exercise and talking about nutrition. And so, you know, all my early successes came as a result of my, my desire for personal development. And so, you know, you can call it self-help, you can call it if you want, but you know, I didn't learn, didn't learn that in high school and college. This was stuff that came, that came later. And so, you know, you look at Richard Carlson's book, don't sweat the small stuff, Gary Zukoff or uh, Deepak Chopra, or um, Tony Robbins, or, you know, I mean, uh, um, uh, Mehmet Oz, you know, M uh, uh, you know, Dr. we all know Dr. Oz. 
and Dr. Phil and all these different people because, you know, there were areas of my life that were incomplete. You know, the, the exercise and, and nutrition, that came later in life. Um, and then there were, uh, you know, then the relationships and then there was finance and there was, you know, happiness and joy and all the other things. So, um, and these all these are things that all came from personal development. Are you still there? I'm just checking, Jeffrey, because you're frozen on my screen here. If you can still hear me. No, I can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, brilliant. You know, so, so you know, you look, I don't know how many people who are listening in have the book, The Big Picture, 11 Laws That Will Change Your Life. But these are 11 laws that I had to create for myself to keep my act together as a human being in all these different categories of life. And so um, that, that little interview that you saw with Brenda and I was to help, you know, basically talk about about my story and what I needed and how I needed to grow and how I needed to improve and how I needed to find joy and happiness and financial freedom. And I was just down in San Diego at one of his events and I got up in front of about 2000 of his, his fans and talked about the course and talked about my story and talked about what was important, you know? And so the obvious answer for me, and I think a lot of people who are coaches, understand the importance of physical activity and good nutrition and proper supplementation as the foundation for what they need to have the energy and enthusiasm to accomplish the goals. And right. So what is unfortunately happened in our coaching business is it's become too much about the money and too much about the bling and too much about the cars and the houses and the blah, blah, blah. And that's, you know, that's some people's choice. I, I'm, my goal is to try not to judge that. But, you know, all that stuff is this, all that stuff is temporary, but your health and your wellness and your attitude and your energy and your good sleep and your hydration, those things affect, you know, just the quality of your life day to day. You know, if you do those things often and you make those good choices, then you're not struggling inside of your own flesh and blood. You feel like you can really take on more stuff. So, you know, that's the angle that I come from and that's what I think is more important I mean, some, some trainers and coaches will get on here and say, hey, how do you take advantage of social media? How do, you, how do you make an impact on YouTube? And what do you do with your Instagram and Facebook pages? And, you know, should Snapchat be part of, of your way to help grow your business? And, and I, you know, I'm, you know, and that's fine. Those are, that's information you need to take in as well. But, but you know, I'm, I'm in the middle of a test group right now with, one, with a new program that I think will come out this fall. And, you know, I've got a bunch of people who aren't coaches, who don't really, you know, a lot of them didn't even know what Beachbody was. They just filled out some forms, signed up for these classes. And so my goal with them is to say, you know, how do you feel after these workouts? And the answer is always better. And how do you feel without them? And the answer is always not as good. And how do you feel when you eat, like, you know, have the discipline to eat well? And people, the answer is always, yeah, I just have more energy. I don't feel as bloated. I don't have heartburn. I don't feel like I'm as tired as I used to be. I sleep better. Um, I don't feel like I'm on my meds like I was. And so my question to anybody listening is, it's important to get back to that. That's, that's what, what Beachbody was before there was a coaching business, before there was Shakeology, before there was, you know, all the, before there was Summit. You know, we were a company that helped people lose weight and get, get in shape through exercise and nutrition, and, and that's how everything grew. So, um, you know, and that's what's kept me relevant uh, 18 years into this industry, you know, I'm, I'm the only trainer that was around from the very beginning, you know, um, Joel and Jericho are fantastic. They're brand new. Sean and Shalene came in later. Autumn came in much later, you know, Sagi came in much later. And, and you know, the goal here is to constantly trying to reinvent yourself, looking at new ways to becoming productive, looking at new techniques, doing all yourself, your personal development. It turns out that, you know, I talked to Jeff Hill and I told him about Brendan, Brendan Bouchard and Brendan Bouchard's our keynote speaker at Summit this year, um, and and um, you know I'm I'm glad that they were able to take my suggestion. I think that's great, and I think Brendan will be able to really you know help our coaches on a, on a, on another level to really help productivity. And um, you know maybe he'll mention our our relationship and how health and fitness is part of his foundation. Well, I know him, and you know the guy is going a mile a minute all the time. And his level of success has grown so rapidly. And he, he equates that to making sure that he eats well and exercises all the time. He says, when I, don't, when I get really busy and I'm writing a book and I'm doing seminars and I'm doing all these different things and I get away from it, I just, I'm not as productive. I don't, I don't feel like I'm as successful. I'm not as happy in my personal relationships. And so when you, when you understand that and you do that, 
you know, it's just a much more fun ride and it's just, you're just, you're, you're just much more consistent. And, uh, and so that's the thing that I, you know, that's the thing I believe in. That's the thing that's kept me healthy and happy and fit and productive and financially successful for the last 35 years. Awesome. Awesome. So Tony, if you don't mind me asking, you know, how, how is your fitness right now? What are you doing to stay, you know, basically interested and stay, you know, um, on top of it? How do you, how do you keep pushing yourself each day to, you know, to, to new plat or to new levels? Well, you know, if if you read my book, you know that there are some critical pieces to the book, right? And and purpose is is probably the most. You know, Beachbody talks about your why. Like, why are you a coach? Why are you want helping people? Why do you want exercise? Why do you want drink shakeology why 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 there's got to be a really substantial why and you know for a for a guy who was a c-minus student with a speech impediment that was a terrible athlete my why is i hated all of that and i never want to go back to that and i understand that if i exercise five to six days a week and sometimes seven that i will i can fight that off easily but if i work out two days a week or three days a week then i'm in this constant sort of you know exercise bipolar situation that i that i want to avoid and so my purpose is pretty clear. I want, I want today to be great. And when I work out today, it is. And when I don't, it's not as good. And so that's just math. You know what I mean? And I, and I can honestly believe that that math is true and it applies to me and it works for millions of people who've done P90X, X2, X3, 10 minute train or whatever on and off to 22 minute hardcore. So, so, you know, the other thing is a plan. I, I, I don't schedule anything that gets in the way of my workouts. It's just, you know what I mean? Even if I'm traveling, you know, emails and Skype calls and, and, uh, and podcasts and all of it, you know, just don't schedule my anything at 7.30 in the morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Don't schedule anything uh, at 6 p.m. on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't, uh, don't invite me to brunch on Sunday mornings because I got a workout to do in my backyard on parallel bars and rope and pegboard. If you're on my, on my Facebook page, you see that up what I'm doing. And on Saturdays, you know, it's kind of a, it's, it's, hit and miss, you know, sometimes I'm doing yoga, sometimes I'm not. And, and same thing with Wednesday nights. Sometimes I do cardio and sometimes I don't because I do yoga on Saturdays. So, and then the last thing is accountability. If I've got accountability through friends and, and my wife and whoever, then, I'm, then I've got, a, it's a meeting. I'm, make, I'm scheduling a meeting with other people and not everybody has that in their home. They don't have that with their wife or their kids or their coworkers or their neighbors. So that's why we have a coach community to create that sort of accountability through, through that. That's what challenge groups are for. I mean, coaches that don't exercise five to six days a week with all the tools that, that are there, that blows my mind. I, I just, I'm, I'm mesmerized by that because the purpose is there, the plan is there, the accountability is there through other coaches. And if you can't sustain or maintain that, is that's just because you don't have a tolerance for exercise. You just don't like it. You don't like, you know, the push-ups and the pull-ups and the squats and the lunges and the kicks and the... And the and the crunches. So it's just something that you, you have an aversion to and the coaching thing just becomes a money thing for you. And, and so well, whatever, you know, blank, blank, five years, 10 years, 15 years from now, you might have a nicer home with flat screen TVs and, and a nice car and all that, but you'll be sick or you'll be injured. And then all that other stuff won't matter anymore because you didn't do the right thing, which was to take care of yourself nutritionally and, and physically and, and, uh, and so, you know, time keeps on moving forward. And the only way to slow down the clock is by eating right and exercising, hydration and, and uh, keeping your stress down. You know what I mean? It's the simple things. It's just simple. Like there's four or five things. If we do them all the time, everything's so much easier. Sure. And so for me, I have my purpose. My purpose is lined up. I like feeling good. I like being competitive with my friends. I like skiing really hard. You know what I mean? I like feeling like I'm 25 years younger than I am. Um, so that's my purpose, my plans lined up. Nobody schedules work anything other than, you know, and place my workouts and accountability. I, I work out with, with friends every time and on the road, I'm forced to do it alone. So I just suck it up and do it because I understand that when I'm done, I'll feel better. Period. That's it. So one of the things you, the theme that I really heard in that answer right there is something that I'm passionate about and something I remember you saying a long time ago on some audio that I heard on the internet and that's consistency. You know, he's consistently doing the things over and over again that has made him successful. He's got the accountability and he's obviously talked about, you know, the, the accountability to not only his fitness, but to other aspects of his life, but consistently he does this stuff. So 
I know for me, it took me, you know, two to three years to see consistent results in my coaching business, but I worked at it hard. It didn't take quite that long. I think it took me two rounds of your P90X, Tony, for me to lose about 100 pounds back in the day. But the whole aspect of it was whether it was my fitness or it was my coaching business, it was consistency. And that's something that I've kind of lived my life by, whether it's still working out six to seven days a week for myself, um, you know, or it's making the same two to three new contacts every single day for my coaching business. It's all about consistency. So talk to me just a little bit about what consistency has meant in your life and how a coach can use that same type of philosophy, a new coach who might be listening tonight to, to kind of catapult their business, if that makes sense. Well, you know, that's an interesting thing that you bring up, uh, Jeffrey, and consistency is really, really important. But how do you, how do you apply that to your life? Uh, you know, you can talk about consistency, consistency to your blue in the face, but what makes a person consistent compared to somebody who is inconsistent, you know? And so that's what a purpose and a plan tie into that as well, whether you're working out or being, you know, consistent with your nutrition or you're trying to build your, 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 your business. You have to look at your life now. To be consistent, you have to look at your life now. And with a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, you have to write down a list of all the things where you feel like you're you know, and I'm not eating as well as I am. I'm not exercising uh, enough. Um, I look at my bank account and, and my credit card debt, and I think, geez, this is not working for me. For me, My relationship with my friends and my family and my, my partner and my kids, is that, am I maxing out the quality of that? You know, like where am I consistent and where am I inconsistent? And you'll notice in some parts of your life, you're pretty consistent, right? You know, when it comes to all the things you need to do sort of basically survive, you know, we all go to work. We all try to make enough money to pay our bills. We keep a roof over our head. We keep our, you know, we make sure that, you know, there's our, our car goes in for regular maintenance. You know, these are all the things that we kind of basically do so that we can, we can basically live a lifestyle that's similar to everybody else. But what exercise and diet and a coaching business does, it provide it takes you from living a, a life of survival into a life of and so if you want to thrive with relationships, with your health and wellness, with your finances, with whatever category that you're looking into, then, then you have to find another level of, of consistency that is, more about, that is much more about surviving and, more, and much more about thriving. And so, so then you have to make a list of the things that you need to do. And so for you, if you're trying to make new contacts, what does that look like? You know, what is, what, you know, write that down. And then if you don't have an answer, like if, you, if you're sitting there staring at a piece of paper with a pencil in your hand, you can't even figure out one, then you got to find coach, other coaches, other mentors, other gurus, other people who are successful. I love when people come to me and ask me questions. Like, how do you do X, Y, and Z? And I'll say, this is what I do. It might apply to you. It might not, but you might want to try it because what you're doing is not working. And so, you know, I notice this a lot with people who, who got the exercise thing down, but they don't have the nutrition thing down. And so the exercise thing, you know, makes you stronger, makes you bigger, um, um, whatever. But the food thing is about health. Exercise gives you, your, your, your body the ability to be able to do more. But it's the food and the nutrition that ultimately affects the quality of your life long term. I mean, that's all, that's all, that's all whether you're healthy or you're diseased. And so the food thing is, is critical. And so a lot of people don't understand that healthier foods, foods that if your great, great, great grandparents saw what you were eating, they would be able to act, act, you know, say, oh, okay, you're eating whole foods, simple foods, foods that you can pronounce. You know, they don't come out of a bottle box uh, bag or can, say for maybe Shakeology and some of our, our, our performance line, right? But, but, you know, just eating food is also, there's a chemical effect on your, your brain's ability to be consistent. Exercising regularly, eating well regularly, improves the odds of your brain's ability to perform. It's about performance. It's, it's about physical, mental, and emotional state that allows you to be at an optimal place for you to get the most done. And if you're not exercising and you're eating double cheese chimichangas and you're having cupcakes and you're eating four bowl, bowls of cereal before you go to bed, you're not allowing your, your brain chemistry to work in such a way 
so that you can be on top of your game. You can have all the knowledge in the world and, you know, you can be a really successful coach, but you know, um, and, and you know what, and some people can do that. Some people can just, you know, kind of work out once in a while and kind of eat okay and kind of supplement properly and still pull it off because they got a tremendous work ethic. You know what I mean? But, but in the end, even that will catch up to them. You know, their, 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 their health, their bad health will catch up to them. And I know a lot of coaches that are like that, that have had some financial success in the short term, but they weren't taking care of the foundation of who they were. And then so things started to fall apart. Not necessarily financially, but the relationships fell apart. They, they ended up, you know, getting a divorce or, or whatever else was going on because they didn't take care of business uh, on more than one level. And I think that's really critical. Yeah, Tony, that's, that hits a kind of a nerve with me because, you know, I'm one of those coaches that have been around quite a while. I remember um, meeting Tony for the very first time, you know, back in, gosh, I think it was 2009, Jason, my, my coach Jason brought me out to Santa Monica to do the beach workout. And I was terrified, you know, I was <laughs> terrified that uh, I wasn't going to be able to go up the rope. I saw some of the videos of it. But I remembered listening to something you had said earlier, too, about doing scary things. You know, doing things that that push you past your boundaries. I got off the plane, had Jason take me right to the beach just so I could try to do it before we met up on Sunday. And I found that doing scary things worked, you know, and, and had a blast, you know, with you guys on Sunday. And, and um, you know, it kind of led to me coming back from that trip with a, a fire for this business, you know. Guys, it's all about doing scary stuff. It's all about figuring out where you're at right now, what little circle you are in as far as your comfort level and getting outside of that. So Tony, would you agree that getting outside of your comfort zone and pushing new boundaries and learning new things? Cause obviously some of the things that work now for me um, here in 2017 aren't the same things that, that worked back in 2008, but in order to stay relevant guys, you have to consistently be reinventing yourself, but also doing scary things at the same time. Would you say that's pretty true, Tony? Yeah, I mean, the bottom line, Jeffrey, is just to say yes. You know what I mean? Just to say yes as often as possible. You know, I mean, it sounds almost too simplistic, but, but every time you say no, or every time you turn something down, you miss out on an opportunity for growth. You know what I mean? So pick up the book, take the seminar, go to the co coach retreat, do the, do the you know, the, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, challenge join the challenge group you know and and you know you don't want to overwhelm yourself with too much but but you know you you you, you know the thing is most of us don't ask ourselves serious questions that need specific answers so that there's movement forward i was working out with five guys this morning and in the middle of it i had this thought you know we're doing workouts we're doing a workout we're not doing any sort of deep skull session about our lives and i asked everybody in the group i said what category of your life do you feel like you're you're not excelling right now and you're not really addressing it. And you're just hoping it's all going to kind of go away or improve on its own. Oh my God, you can't believe how we got going with that. You know what I mean? One guy just said, look, I'm not making enough money to be, I feel like I'm missing out on all these opportunities because I don't have enough money. I don't know if, if my job is providing that for me. I mean, I'm, you know, I got it a nice place and I live with my wife and it's okay, but we want more. And I said, well, holy, holy smokes, man. Like, you know, what's, do you have a hobby that can lead to something bigger? You know what I mean? And he says, yeah, I do, but it scares me and I'm not doing it. All right, well then either you're in this place or you're in the next place, but you're not doing anything about it, right? And, um, and everybody, everybody had a, a category of their life, relationships or finances or, 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 you know, everybody in the room was working out, but a couple of the guys weren't dealing with their food. They were using the exercise as an excuse to eat whatever they wanted. And uh, I said, I'm sorry. And it's just, you know, you're going to have some improvement, but not more. And, you know, food is a test three to five times a day, you know, and that's kind of overwhelming for a lot of people. So, you know what I mean? So what we all basically said was, what, what you know, when we come back on Thursday, um, well, that was today, I said, I'm sorry, when we come back on Tuesday, um, we're all going to have a, an answer about what we're going to do. We're going to communicate with each other and make sure that we improve that which is scary and challenging, right? And so you're dealing with consistency, you're dealing with being outside of your comfort zone, you're dealing with actually beginning to sort of apply some rules that you need, you know what I mean, to improve these categories of your life. 
and um, and it's not comfortable and it's not easy. And, um, and uh, you know, most of us uh, were so freaked out about that stuff that, that it just keeps us from moving at all. And so, you know, you look at like a guy like Elon Musk. I, I look at that guy and I think, does he, does he ever wake up any morning of the day without just charging? I mean, let me make, you know, the most beautiful electric cars in the world and then help NASA send ASTA satellites into space. You know what I mean? Let me find the people to help me do it. It's just, you know, Henry Ford was that way, or Steve Jobs was that way, or Carl Dykler at Beachbody. You know, the, the guy doesn't, he's fearless. He's fearless. I mean, the reason why we're all on this call is because of him. I mean, that's the bottom line. Like, he built that from nothing. You know what I mean? He, we got lucky. We, he found me and, and Shaleen and Sean and Autumn and Joel and Jericho and Sagi. And, you know, it all, it's all worked out pretty well. I mean, not everything's been a home run, right? A lot of coaches right now are struggling. You know, Beachbody hit a little bump on the road, but. That doesn't slow us down. That's happened to every company, from GE to Procter & Gamble to us to Elon Musk, who you know, spent millions of dollars on these rockets, and they blew up on the, on the launch pad. So what? You know what I mean? You just you got to keep plugging ahead. And so if you're super attached to the outcome, uh, you're screwed. If you're a perfectionist, you're screwed. You know what I mean? So keep your expectations low. Enjoy the journey. Understand that you're going to fall down a bunch of times, and that's part of learning. You know what I mean? You don't go from first grade to 12th grade, right? There's, a, there's steps, man. And if you take the steps and you, you know, not every, some people get, you know, A pluses on every exam. I don't know who they are. I was a C minus student looking after that. Okay. All right. So um, just follow the rules. If you want to, you know, more about how to do that about, beyond our conversation, you know, go to my website, Tony Horton Life and, and, and buy the book. And, and buy the course with Brendan Bouchard. When you're done with either of those things, you're going to know more. And it's up to you to, to apply it or not. It's, it's that simple. Guys, I've read everything Tony's had out and listened to his audios. I really highly recommend you guys do that, especially, you know, um, 11 Laws. They're, they've, they're something that's really affected my life in a lot of different ways. And I really would recommend you guys doing that. Tony, you mentioned something that I kind of wanted to ask you, and this would be a nice way to possibly wrap things up to respect your, your time. But, you know, a lot of coaches um, were complaining, and a lot of us saw the slowdown at the end of last year, and you just mentioned that. And a lot of people have used that funk, you know, to, to carry over into this year. And as a leader, it drives me nuts, you know, to see people give up on their dreams because of a slowdown. Being around this business since 2008. This isn't the first time I've seen this, guys, and I've said this to you, and I'm sure it's not the first time that Tony's seen a slowdown in anything and things pick up. It's just a phase, it's what happens. Tony, you most assuredly have been in a funk in your life. You know, how, do you, how would you talk, or how would you tell these, these coaches who are listening so intently tonight, not only on Zoom, but there's a lot of people going Facebook Live, you've got a bigger audience than just what we're on right now. How do you, how do you get yourself out of a funk, and what would you say to somebody who, is still slowing down and using that as an excuse after, you know, the, the ending of 2016? Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, that's a great question, Jeffrey. You know, a down period, it, what will happen in a down pe period is, depending on the personality, I think quite often, you know, is the glass half full or half empty? I think people find times like, and by the way, I'm affected by this too, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm on, I'm on the mountain right now while Beachbody is going through this little, little, little phase, you know what I mean? But what it does to me is it makes me want to work harder, connect with more people, um, you know, see, see where I'm lacking and, you know, whether, you know, is it my communication skills? Is it my development skills? Am I asking the right questions by the, from the right people? And by the way, you got to you got to love, you got to a love this company. You got to love what we do. You got to trust J Carl Deichler, Jeff Hill, um, Michael Neiman and everybody else is involved involved in the situation, and nobody is blowing smoke up anybody's butt here. You know what I mean? Everybody understands that this industry is. Here's what we're doing: we're all involved with exercise, eating right, nutrition, and coaching. Okay, so and challenge groups and and uh, and challenge packs and all that all the stuff that goes with it, and if. If you don't understand this and dig this and want to share this with other people, then you should be doing be selling makeup or, or some kind of a 
potion and that's it's supposed to you know change your skin or something in five minutes whatever this is this is lifestyle stuff and nobody said this stuff was easy but it's probably the most critical piece to the puzzle when it comes to helping solve a lot of America's problems and you know there's a healthcare crisis and we're at the tip of the spear when it comes to being able to solve these problems and if you know you gotta you gotta think big you gotta live large you gotta ask questions you gotta surround yourself with with bad asses and, and if you can't do that, then you're in the wrong thing. And so for me, when I'm in a funk, when things are going south, uh, oh my God, I just work harder. I, I make sure that I'm not, I watch less TV, I get more sleep, um, I make sure that my, my food is super clean, because I understand that when I do those things, and I drink plenty of water, I mean, I, I know this is, sounds like basic stuff, but it gives, you, it gives you the ability to be able to accomplish more, especially in, in rough times. And a lot of people, you know, I've, I've I've seen and talked to some coaches lately um, who have let this opportunity just completely allow them to go to, go south. You know what I mean? And they give me all the rhyme and reasons and excuses and blah, blah, blah. And see, I told you so's. And I think, well, you know, you got to upgrade your, your character because you're missing out. You know what I mean? I mean why, would, why would you want to do that? And not to say that, you know, in the downturn, you know, You've got to look for other other people who are who can support you, and 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 you got to work a little bit harder, and you got to clean up your diet, and you got to exercise more often, and uh, and, and that's the beautiful thing. When something like when a funk happens, it gives you a perfect opportunity to see what you're made of, and how, and how strong your character is, and what you're willing to try to do, um, or you quit, and you do something else um, that's more about you and less about helping other people, and. And that's fine. I'm not going to judge that, right? Maybe that's your choice, and, and you can you can you can do that. But I believe in this company. I believe in what we do. I'm not going anywhere. They, they, you know, Carl and and uh, and John John Congdon and Jonathan Gelfand, you know, still believe and trust in me because this is who I am, and uh, you know, I'll never I'll never get out of shape, and I'll never start eating crap, and I don't have cheat days, and I walk the walk and talk the talk and they, and they want me around based on, on that. And so if I can, if I can inspire people and I can motivate people and I can encourage people to, to stay in the game and continue to work hard because they trust what we do, then, then that's why I'm on this call with you. And that's why hopefully other people are listening. Awesome. Well, Tony, we really appreciate you, you joining us tonight. You know, there's, um, there's obviously question after question after question we could talk all night. But like, like Tony said, guys, all, all the answers you guys probably have are going to be in his book or in some audio that he's got out there or anything that he does and puts out on social media. Um, guys, it's, it's a choice. It really is a choice whether you guys want to stay where you're at right now or move forward. You know, it's all within your guys' control. Like Tony said, this isn't about selling curses or makeup or anything else. What we do here as coaches is always going to be needed, whether we're in an economic downturn or a slight little blip. Um, it's within our control and, um, it's, it's up to you guys if you want to take the information, run with it, or like Tony said, quit and do something different and make it about you versus actually what our mission is to help people live a healthy, fulfilling life. Yeah, I mean, I mean one, one last thing I want to say is, is either you're all in or, or you're not, you know what I mean? And there's far too many coaches. Like, you know, we say, I don't know how many coaches we say we have these days, but, but, there's, there's a minority that are fully committed to this thing. And, and I mean, uh, a majority, yeah, a minority that are fully committed and a majority are just sort of in for the, you know, cheaper Shakeology prices. And so if you believe in this company, if you believe in Carl, if you believe in, in what we're doing, then, then give yourself three months of all the way, like the people who do P90X, the ones that succeed, the ones that get ripped, the ones that change their lives forever are fully committed for those three months. So just, just write down what if you do that and what if you don't. And what if you already know the answer to both those questions. If you're all in, you're gonna see you're gonna see substantial growth. And if you're half baked, then you know, then you'll also see the result of that. So anyway, I thank you, Jeffrey. I thank I thank everybody. Um, I'm looking at your names, Lisa, Angel, Jill, Eric, Sue, Marie. Samsung SM, that's not probably not your real name. Um, Kevin, Jeff, yeah. Stacy, Daryl. It starts with your, like tonight, between now and when you go to bed, what are you gonna put in your mouth? 
some stuff is going to make your life worse. It's going to taste good. It's going to satisfy you temporarily. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, what are you going to have for breakfast? If it's pancakes or waffles, you made a mistake. You had birthday cake for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? You really, it's, it's butter, flour, and, and sugar. So you know, this stuff matters and it's not easy to do, but find an accountability partner and go kick butt for three months. I'm telling you, it'll change everything. So Tony, you mentioned P90X and I just got to tell you as we close here, um, we're, in the, we're in week number three right now of my son's very first round. I don't know if you remember him when we were out there in Freeland for an event. He, um, he came to me and said, Dad, I want to do my first round of P90X. So we're, we're finishing up week three right now. How are you feeling, Taylor? Sore. <laughs> you know what soreness is? I'm sore, Taylor, I'm sore all the time. I mean, hopefully not my knees and my back and my neck and my ankles and my hips. My muscles are sore. So muscle, sore muscles are just uh, an accelerated calorie burn, a 24-7 calorie burn. If you're not sore, you're just getting old. Yeah. You know, if you're sore, there, that means things are happening. You know, I, mean, I have this irreverent statement that bums some people out, but aging is for idiots, man. You know what I mean? At 58 years old, you know, you got, you know, go on my fan page, you know, I mean, you can see my, my pegboard, my rope stuff. And it's, it's easier now than it was even two years ago because of consistency, because it's, it's super important. And, you know, you can get sick results with 22 minute hardcore, just commit to the eight weeks, do the ninth week, hell week and go do core to force or go do something else. But, you know, Hey, would you take a week? I wouldn't take a week off if you gave me a, a thousand bucks, no shot, hmm. maybe maybe 10,000 might take a week off, but, but you know what I mean? It's too important, man. It's just too important and it'll save your life and it'll, it'll lengthen your life and it'll improve the quality of your life. And it also improves the quality of the lives around you because you come this, you become this shining light, this example to others. The fact that you're doing this with your son, Jeffrey is the bomb, bro. So, you know what I mean? Just keep going you and everybody. Yeah. Yeah, we've been documenting it and posting our photos each night just to keep each other accountable. You know, he said he wanted to come, to, he wanted to get better in soccer. He wanted to get better in basketball. And I said, we got to do a round of P90X. We got to do, do P90X. You'll kill it. You'll kill everybody. You will destroy everybody. Else. You'll be a better athlete than all of them because you're more well-rounded because you're working on your weaknesses. And don't skip the yoga. <laughs> He's <laughs> laughing like crazy when you just said that. No. We've been doing it. He hasn't been a big fan yet, but we'll get him there, Tony. We'll get him You'll there. You'll get there. Yeah. Hey, good timing because uh, my, uh, my healthy delivery food has just arrived, so okay. I'm going to go munch on that. Everybody. Well, thank you, Tony. When we're done with this round, we'll come out and do ropes with you. I really appreciate it. Yes! Yes. Good we'll get... time. All right. Thanks, Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, everybody, for joining, and we'll have the recording up on the team pages, and God bless, Tony. Thanks, Shauna. Right on, right on, right on. All right, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye.